Hey everyone, have I here be another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, since we know we are going to be getting in the 7 year anniversary an Dokkan Festival exclusive LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta that transforms into Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta. I figured we go ahead and design the details and see how close we can get to the real thing. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So, of course, we got the card arts, amazing card arts for this, um, you know, LR Super Saiyan God Goku and Vegeta. And we want to find out what the details are. So we're, this is going to be a speculation video, right? So all the things I'm going to be talking about speculation, except for the card art um, and try to figure out, again, how close to the real thing I get. I don't know. I got a little crazy on this one here. So let's go ahead and, and, and take a closer look. So I did look at all the Goku and Vegeta Dokkan Festival exclusive LR units. We got five on top there. Also looked at the four, what was it? You know, four, five, five year anniversary? Was that five year anniversary? Yeah, five year anniversary for the LR fusions. And then you have some some um, TURs in uh, God Ku and uh, God Vegeta, which Funny enough, there's only one God Vegeta unit in the game, which that's kind of strange, right? So I would think there would be a lot more than that. And of course, the AGL uh, movie heroes leader in Super Saiyan um, Gogeta there. So kind of looked at, okay, what would be the correct option to choose as a leader uh, or type advantage leader? Uh, and I'm looking either at Int or AGL. And if you did watch my Super Saiyan 4 video here, uh, I did choose AGL. So we're going to go with Int on this one here. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the details. Like I said, it's 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 kind of kind of a little bit crazy, I think. I think. Um, so if this unit does not have a brand new category as a leader, which it's most likely that it will, um, we're going to have like 100 categories by the end of the year, maybe, or something like that. If they don't do that, hopefully they'll stick with these two or or possibly three. You know, the third one I was looking at besides Movie Heroes and Join Forces is Realm of Gods, of course. But Realm of Gods has a ton of leaders, you know, Super Saiyan uh, or UI Goku, the Int one, um, Beerus, even Zamasu, stuff like that. I, I, you know, they have a lot of leaders there, even like UI Goku, the strength one's at 130. Um, but Movie Heroes only has one leader, and that's the blue Super Saiyan um agl gogeta right so it's time for another movie heroes leader and join forces doesn't have 170 percent, so i go ahead and buff that 177 percent, which like i did on the super saiyan 4 units uh i hope they're just gonna crack that 170 percent meta and go with 177 percent being the seven year anniversary so um so that's what my guess here movie heroes or join and join forces i think that'll be an amazing combination i think join forces would be crazy strong at 170 there's so many amazing amazing units on there uh and then of course movie heroes just needs a, a, a revamp right a really a strong revamp and this would be the unit to do so so let's go ahead and take a look at the super attack here the 12 key is god bind and finer burst cannon i put it as a raised defense and causes colossal damage to enemy and seals super attack so this does have a mechanic where you are you know getting a defensive buff which of course for long events people like to have Prob problem is this is only on the 12 key but during the non-transformation state getting 12 key shouldn't be too bad i don't think i don't really have a key boost on this uh this portion here you will get a key boost when you transform i'll show you what that's going to look like in a second but uh um, you can get his defense up. It really, I, I, how I built this, you kind of really don't need it. I, I should have just put like raises attack in reality for the super attack there. So the ultra super attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang attack, and that raises greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega colossal damage to enemy, and lowers attack and defense again. I'm just looking at here going, man, I, I'm just, I made this unit a little bit too, having too much utility in a sense. But hey, if this is going to be the best unit in the game, it's going to have to have things of this nature. So the passive skill, that's where it gets a little bit crazy here. So God Key Saiyans is what I called it. Um, attack and defense 77%, which isn't super strong, right? But then attack and defense 77% with performing super attack, that's when you kind of combine it up and now you are re really strong just with those two options right there. Now, this unit here does do a little bit of orb changing. It does randomly change its key spheres to a of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. And then you're able to have reduction of damage by 7% and attack 17% per rainbow key sphere obtained. So 
you are going to get a little bit of boost. Actually, quite a bit of boost if you can get, generally speaking, three to four. It's really hard to get, but you know, you're going to get two pretty easily, uh, especially if it's going to be um, uh, orb changed, right? So three to four, you know, you're going to get 20 something percent, uh, 28 percent damage reduction, which is, I think, very useful. And then uh, additional nice boost on the attack there. Now, on top of that, this is where this little link mechanic that I'm talking about, uh, you saw that in my Super Saiyan 4 one. Um, this one has, in a sense, two different versions. One is an attack bu a boost, uh, attack 7%, which isn't that much, but it's an additional boost if you are uh, running a Kamehameha unit linked, activated. Now, how I'm explaining this is it actually buffs both units. So not only that this unit gets 7%, but the other unit that's linked up also gets 7%. So it's kind of like a support as well. Hopefully you guys understand that. Uh, and then if you have Warrior Gods or an N over in a Flash, you have a high chance of guarding all attacks. Again, really, really interesting that you're going to give this ability to the other unit that's linked up that has Warrior Gods or over in the Flash. Um, so it's a 50% chance of guarding all attacks. Really, really powerful and strong, if, of course, if you're able to do that. But if you're not, you're still able to uh, raise defense on a 12-key uh, super attack. So I think that works out really well. And if you're up against movie bosses category enemy, you also have a 17% damage reduction then stuns the enemy um, uh, if you're fighting a movie bosses category enemy. So I think that's a decent kit. Um, for a the non-transformation state, it gets crazy when I did the transformation. I don't know what I was thinking, but hey, that's going to be fun there. And then this active skill, same thing with the uh, Super Saiyan 4 that I was talking about. I'm, I know I'm making references to the other video, but that's fresh in my mind. Um, the active skill Beyond Gods, you're going to do an attack and you transform. So this greatly raises attack, temporarily causes uh, ultimate damage to enemy, and then you transform. And then I made it fairly easy, I think. Uh, can be activated when HP is 77% uh, or below. I think I didn't finish that sentence there. Can be activated when HP is 77% or below. Okay, uh, Or it can be activated anytime when there's a movie boss's enemy category. So if you're fighting movie bosses, boom, you transform right away. Uh, but 77% and below shouldn't be too hard to actually get. So uh, maybe with this unit, because it's pretty heavy when it comes to uh, damage reduction. Um, or defense-wise. Anyway, Link Skill. Super Saiyan, Godly Power, Warrior Gods, Command Meha, Over and Flash, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Warrior Gods, Command Meha, Over and Flash is getting that extra Link uh, boost there. And then you have categories and i think there's a good amount of categories here i've said it m many a times minimum should be six really minimum should be eight now these days and um and um you know you're looking at like what 90 or 80 something categories so right here there's 11 or 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 so um, 11 or 12 that'd be really solid you can run on multiple different teams here and stats 22 Oh seven seven twenty nine almost twenty three thousand attack. That's kind of high, and then thirteen three for defense, uh, pre transformation. Now, of course, we get to transform here. The Super Saiyan God units go to Super Saiyan Blue, and you gotta love the look, right? The, oh, man, the card art is uh, classic and uh, iconic. Really, um, I was talking about like the trailer and then the moment in the movie in of itself. So let's go ahead and make the transformation here. And how much better did this unit get? Well. 12 key super attack uh, raises attack and defense, so that is beneficial. The problem is it might be very difficult to get a 12 key super attack off on this unit once once transformed. And the 12 key also does medical colossal damage to me, and I kind of like that. You know, with the um, uh, full power Frieza and Super Saiyan Namek Goku, they're both mega colossal on both 12 and 18 key, which you know I think makes it very very strong. Um, the 18 key here uh, is the same. It raises attack and defense for one turn and, and causes Mega Colossal damage to me and lowers attack and defense. That's the God Kamehameha and God Final Flash. All right, passive skill. So, attack and defense, same um, for the uh, regular, buff, um, regular buff at 77%. And then after super, super attack, 77%. That didn't change. Also, randomly changes key spheres to a certain type to rainbow key spheres. That didn't change. So what changed was it reduces damage received by 7% and attack 17% and 
in addition to per key sphere obtained. Doesn't matter what it is, it's per key sphere obtained, and this is now up to 77%. So you have an opportunity to actually get a 77% damage reduction if you get 10 key spheres. That's like crazy strong. So um, again, I, I don't know what I was thinking at that point in time. 77% is pretty much uh, invincible at that point in time. So, um, but that's like 10 key spheres. So that's harder to or harder to do at most times. You, you know, even with the orb change, you can probably get like maybe six or seven. But even like let's say six, um, you know, that's uh, 42% damage reduction. So really really high powerful and and, and and i was thinking i was like wait a minute why did i do that because i did even crazier things with the the link boost right so kamehameha you have a 17 percent uh to attack which uh is boosted up by 10 percent there and then you have a high chance of critical hit when there's a kamehameha link activated remember not only that this unit gets the buff but the other unit gets the buff so whoever the other person is running you're gonna get the high chance of critical hit and the additional 17 percent this is where I go, hey, I think I just made it too strong, right? Warrior Gods or Over in a Flash, if that link is activated, both of the units there, when whoever's linked there, uh, or I guess all three if you're running in the, uh, in the middle slot there, 7 key, which makes the 12 key super attack almost unattainable, and then just automatically guards against all attacks. <laughs> so, uh, I th think I kind of messed up on there. I should have just kept it at high chance or put it at great chance. So I think that's like OP, super stupid strong when there is a Warrior Gods or Over the Flash Link activated. It's like, like right there makes the, this unit one of the best units in the game that it, just because it's, sur it's just surrounding the other units, the other units can guard against all attacks as well. So it's like using an item and boom, there you go. And then uh, you do lose the damage mitigation because you don't need any more against a movie boss enemy uh, category or stun them, just get an additional 17% to attack. Um... The nice thing about this unit here, I did actually didn't change any link skills, so I'm not a huge fan of the link skills changing because of a transformation. In this case scenario, you're just going from Super Saiyan God to Super Saiyan Blue, so technically you really shouldn't be changing much when it comes to the link skills. So I think that's uh, a strong point for this unit here. Just kind of looking here on paper, just because of the utility in itself and the defense, yeah, this, this is a ridiculous, ridiculous uh, unit there. I don't know if... It's going to do that much when it comes to damage, though. 77, 77, oh, yeah. Let me take that back. 77, 77, and then up to 77, having some key, uh, um, key sphere. Uh, ch yeah. You know, you you're people that can do calculations out there, tell me what this is going to average. I think it's a little bit maybe too high, I think. Especially if everything is active, like Kamehameha, Warrior Gods, and Over in a Flash. Or... Kamehameha or Warrior Gods or Orbit Flash. It doesn't combine together. It's not stacking like LRK and Khalifa. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Let me know what you guys think. How would you guys build this unit? Uh, did I go a little bit too crazy on the guard against all attacks there? Again, making this going to be a super valuable unit. And But again, these two units should be the best units in the game. It has to outperform uh, Emma Yui Goku and Evolution Vegeta, right? So... Or even more, even more so the uh, uh, Super Saiyan uh, Namek Goku and a full power Frieza. But anyway, with that, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like how I designed this uh, unit here? Would I will I even be any close, you know, uh, to uh, what the real thing is? We'll see. We'll see what happens there. So if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on dokoning. We'll catch you next time. Later.